Good morning. Something, today's a weird day because my body's really like auto waking me up at 7.30, 7.45 every day because Kelvin normally comes like eight. So I like to be up for a few minutes before Kelvin gets here. And I told Kelvin to come at 11 today because I was gonna film in the morning and we have a long day ahead. And I just woke up and it's 10.57. I went to bed at like 2, 2.30 or so. So I haven't slept in. Like, I can't remember the last time I slept in. So, slept in today. Let's sit away, let's get away. 166.4, that is my lowest weigh-in. Uh, I tied it with yesterday, so. There was a UPS meeting this morning, which uh, Derek handled, so I'm gonna go review all that business stuff. I'll fill you guys in once I get that information. We have back and biceps. It's our last back and bicep workout, which we're gonna do after we help Frank. And then one more thing I wanna tell you guys, yesterday, last night, I did my cardio, and uh, it was the hardest cardio session I've ever done. Like, I've never had to, you know, I've always, I sometimes feel like stopping, blah, 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 but like literally when I hit, I hit 31 minutes, and uh, I felt like I was gonna fall over. Like I felt like I was gonna fall off the freaking Stairmaster. And like, I, I swear I'm not being dramatic. I, I, I legit had to stop for a bit. So uh, I put it on stop. I went and sat down. I laid like, laid down, just kind of caught my It was just so hot in that corner of the gym. Like it's not that my heart rate was super high. It's that it was so freaking just hot. And I was sweating like so much that uh, like there was sweat like getting in my mouth. I, just, I don't know, I felt, really weird so I had to stop. I went back and I finished my 14 minutes, like 20 minutes after a 20 minute rest. So uh, that happened, which is kind of weird. And that's it. Drink a lot of water last night and 166.4. So let's start the day. This is how you know it's, it's freaking peak week and I'm losing my mind, okay? So I got my strawberries ready and I thought they went here for some reason. And you're supposed to go in the fridge, man. <laughs> what the hell am I doing, bro? I came to get a plate and it's all these strawberries. I'm losing my mind. What the hell? <laughs> you're supposed to go in here. Yeah, I put them by the right plates. <laughs> Damn, bro. Okay, here's a plate. I'm just trying to, trying to do this. You know, I'm trying to finish off strong. For breakfast, I have six egg whites. I didn't put onion or anything in here. Six egg whites, one Dan and Light and Pickwick yogurt, half a serving of granola, 25 grams, and then 300 grams of strawberries and Power Crunch bar. It's a lot of breakfast, it's a big breakfast, but it's a lot of macros for the day. Gonna eat this and then, yeah, gonna eat it. And that's all I'm focused on right now. Drink more, one more, be more again. Stitched in and I didn't, get to, I didn't get a chance to review the video last night because I fell asleep, but good job, Kelvin. Thanks, man. You're really good, bro. And uh, sipping on a monster, just chilling. We got a photo shoot with Anderson at, uh, well, Shali, Danae, and Russell are shooting with Anderson. Uh, we already have a lot of pictures of me, so I'm not gonna really shoot much. But Kelvin and I are gonna go Help Frank do some stuff, run some errands for his new place. He's got to get a rug. He needs to go to Best Buy. We're going to be sure that Frank's good to go. And probably just hang out in the area because Frank moved to a really nice area. Um, it's more like, it's not downtown. So you have like Sugarland, right? You have 59, which is the main highway. Yep. And you have like the, the, the big Galleria Mall, like really nice, good area. And then you've got like, technical downtown downtown so it's like he's in that midpoint which is really nice uh so we're gonna go check it out i'm excited and i just ate a lot of my macros i had uh two strawberries of honeycomb and my macros right now are at people are loving the fact that this video is 40 minutes so i'm thinking kelvin like for three days out two days out one day out let's keep them more raw not necessarily 40 but you know yeah a little bit longer because we listen to your feedback guys that is one thing like i feel like this channel does well because we're not so caught up in our ways like Kelvin takes constructive constructive criticism I take criticism we all take criticism to really just we want to hear what you guys want 
and even if we may not you know we may not comment back and things like that but everything is read I read everything Kelvin reads everything we take everything into consideration we evaluate the videos like I watch my own videos to correlate to the comments so I can see what people mean by this and that and then hopefully we can create something that you guys enjoyed more so my pretty girl uh, macros right now are 67 protein, 117 carb, and 18 grams of fat. My total macros for the day, did I already tell them? Did I? Or was that I yesterday? Think so. I think it was today. Okay, well. You were so confused. 350, 375 carb, 180, 190 protein. If I need to hit 60 grams of fat, I can do it. So I'll hit like 55-ish. So. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we'll crop the other one out. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to finish watching this. I'm going to change. I'm um, just gonna rinse off and we'll be good to go. You want to change? You ready? Move it out? Alright. Soon. Ever Frank's at 1 30, it's already 12 40. We have to be there at 1 30. Yeah, we gotta go. Holy shit, man. Alright, guys, so Christian isn't here, he abandoned us. Um, we're gonna meet him at Frank's apartment because he's moving in today and uh, we all helped. We all agreed that we would help him move in today. So. Right now, we're gonna head over there. What are we doing? We're going to his apartment? Yeah. Well, we're gonna go pick up Frank in Kelvin's truck, go to Ikea, pick up some furniture, go to Best Buy, pick up his TV, and then uh, after that, we'll work out. So, no, after that, I actually have a photo shoot with Anderson at five, but Christian has agreed to wait for me to finish my photo shoot, and we're gonna have like a super late workout. Me, Daniel, and Christian, we're gonna head back and buy. And it's gonna be the last back and by exercise workout of prep. So I'm excited. Let's get it. Woo, so hot! carrying my freaking laptop. Oh shit, it finished rendering, 100%. I can upload now. I got Wi-Fi up there. Strong Wi-Fi too. We're at my new place, man. First day in here, I've, I've been, I've had the keys for maybe three hours. So excuse the mess. I haven't had a chance to settle everything in and decorate, still unpacking. So bear with me guys. Here we go. This place is sick. It's an extremely, extremely, extremely good location. Uh, especially for like single man. Yeah. Oh, uh, nah. <laughs> man, Frank single. He's right in the heart of Houston. He's close to Sugarland. He's close to work at Alfleet. He's close to downtown. Right in the center. This place is one bedroom, super modern, brick wall, wood floors, uh, super super nice. Bro, I really Big like windows. Couch. I know, I like the couch color a lot. So, literally perfect for them. It's good neutral color. Yeah, neutral. So sick. So, I think we're going to go to Target, right? Maybe West Elm. Crate Crate, first. Crate and Barrel first. And then Target. Oh, then Target. That be and, oh, P.S. Uh, update. I got a hold of the main host of the Ranch Warren Classic. Uh, I called him yesterday. I got his number from Lee Labrada because we're trying to get access to record at the show, guys. Like, it's really, really strict about recording, but you know, I'm just trying my hardest to get an okay so I can have Kelvin and Javon. Pretty much like my dream, like the, the objective here is to have two way seven, like the exact same cameras, the exact same microphones, Javon and Kelvin, Kelvin both recording from like 5 a.m. on show day. Uh, that entire day getting like the same footage with different angles and things and like combining into like a badass video that can launch on Monday and uh, We'd be the first ever like, If I can get approved for this it'd be the first ever like official Approved backstage footage vlog youtuber kind of thing which could be huge so um, I'm just waiting to hear back. Of course, they're super busy right now. Everything's slam packed. So I'm hoping that I don't just get like, you know, thrown off the priority list. I hope that we can get that approval and yeah, we'll be good. So let's go help out Frank and yeah, I guess Kelvin just kind of show him the place, man. Looks good.
Oh, right there. It's on this way. Also like that. Water bottle. Should've freaking stopped at a damn gas station. I feel like his uh. We're having a walk a quarter mile either. His uh apartment should have gave us one. I know. They should have had one. Well, we didn't ask. Yeah. Damn. Oh my god, it's so hot. I only get. I, I need a gallon, man. It's already like 2 p.m. Yeah. So I still like drink a gallon. Any, yeah. I haven't either. drank any water today. Cause only monster. The water was out at the house today. Because oh. the bill didn't get paid, but we paid it, and now it's back on. So I didn't have any water this morning. Go. Oh, watch out. Come on. Awesome. West Zone? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, oh. What is it? There's so much nice stuff in here. It's a really nice furniture store. Super modern. Uh, I'm just still in this bed. All Frank orders. Yeah. Perfect. All right, I will see you tomorrow at 9 a.m. We got the rug. 4 or 5 p.m. About to have some food, drink some water. Feeling terrible. I may fit a chick. I have 375 carbs, so I'm probably going to fit a Chick-fil-A cookie in here to kind of Maybe feel a little bit better. Uh, it's only 45 carbs. Well, only 45 carbs in a cookie, which is a lot. But definitely 375. I need it. We're shooting today. We have a photo shoot uh, at 5:30. It's just o'clock till 8, and then we're hitting a night workout. Uh, we're gonna stick with Shali all day and just grind it out, like push each other, and then cardio right after the workout. So it'll be workout, posing, cardio. 45 minutes all in one tonight. So just trying to get most of my macros in before then. And maybe save like 10% of my macros for after. And then just go to sleep. So that's weird. I uh, picked up an eight count grilled nugget, a 12 count grilled nugget, and a grilled market salad. On um, the grilled market salad, I'll normally throw like the granola and stuff in there. But I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna throw this or the nuts, so we're just gonna make this with my dressing, which I have to track. Damn, man. It says there's one serving, right? Two ounces, but there's one serving. Oh, okay. One and a half fat, three carbs, so yeah, I'll use this whole thing on this. I think I might get a cookie after. I'm gonna see my back is right. Alright, guys, so instead of doing, I'm just gonna get the light in. Instead of doing the Chick fil A cookie, I'm fitting in nine ounces of Froyo over here at Menchie's. I went half no snow and half pure chocolate. And uh, I haven't looked it up exactly, but I think it's like between five and eight grams of carbs per uh, ounce. So I'm looking at like 16 grams of carbs. And I've still got like 150 left over for the day. I'm sorry that I'm so I'm in a good position. I'm gonna enjoy this. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. What's his name? Trust. Trust? Tell us that it's up. Okay. You also like a Snapchat? Alright guys, so I am getting I already ate my ice cream. I'm getting five more ounces of Froyo. And with this five ounces, I'm at 167 protein, 254 carbs. My goal is 375 today and 44 fat. So tonight I'm going to have some fruit. I'm going to have some oatmeal, uh, more filling carbs to hit that 375. But I'm a very happy man right now. And this is really good. This is zero fat. So it's a good way to get a lot of carbs and with no fat. So. I got the, the oh, yeah. vanilla one because this one is a little bit less carb than the chocolate. So less calorie. The Froyo made me feel alive. You had 15 ounces, Charlie? I had 15. We both had 15 ounces. Of Froyo. And I don't feel guilty at all. I feel kind of bloated, but. It's just dairy. It's dairy. It shouldn't go down. And we have our macros. Put our macros, no fat, just carbs. Yeah. So we also got another uplift because that photo shoot that we had planned, uh, Anderson, he specifically asked to shoot like two people, maybe a three people max. And we were supposed to start shooting at five. There's a lot of traffic and the sun goes down like eight. And so he already has Danae and Daniel that he's shooting. So instead of Shali was supposed to go, and then I was like, oh, well, I'll just tag along, grab a picture too. 
But because there's only like two hours, we're gonna have to shoot. Daniel and Danae are gonna shoot. We don't have to go outside in a hundred. <laughs> in a hundred degrees, it's a hundred degrees outside, man. Like dry heat. The sun doesn't go down until like eight thirty. Eight thirty. It's like five o'clock right now. And so it would have been like whoever was shooting. Anderson takes like he takes a lot of time and he gets the shots like so perfect. But whoever wasn't shooting would just have to be chilling outside in the heat, like drenched in sweat. And it's peak week. And it's peak week. Low carb. <laughs> oh my god, I feel like a big weight off my of shoulders, man. Oh, it feels so nice. So now we get to chill in Frank's new apartment. We're gonna chill in air conditioning and watch TV and surf high speed internet. <laughs> I'd rather do that. I'd rather do that over staying yeah. outside any day. And Joe's on his way. Uh, he's bringing some stuff to hang. We're gonna hang the TV. Joe's gonna hang the TV. I'm not gonna hang the TV. Kelvin's gonna edit this video up, and then we're gonna meet up Javon later on. He's gonna record the workout, so Kelvin can go hang out with this girl. And we're just gonna chill here, man. So. Um, workout tonight and cardio tonight with posing practice. So it's still a lot to take on, but it's nice knowing that that shoot is going to be pushed back. So we're good. We're really good. Shorts look good, Kevin. What's up, bro? Shorts looking good. Hell yeah, bro. Is that good? Nice. July 31st. Were you on it? Joe, how do you like those shorts? Huh? How do you like your shorts? Nice. Try to get real quick. What size are you wearing? Move the wire. Um, XLs. XL? No, I'm wearing large. Large. Your shoes, man. I don't know if this is focused. Is that, is that focused, Shelly? Yeah. Is it? It is? Yeah. Really? Oh, that's really good. Yeah. 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 Damn. We're here at the gym. Eight o'clock? 8.30, say 8.30. 8.30, thirty. It's myself and Charlie. This must be so hard. I make some hot tissue at handcuffs. I wanna just say that a lot of people are like watching these videos and a lot of young people, you know, 16, 17, 18, 20, 21. Uh, and you know, you see me, you see us like this lean, you see us feeling like crap and it's literally like obsessive. You see us, me and Shali, like literally obsessing over these macros and cardio and working out and stuff. And I just want you guys to know like these final weeks, this is not normal. This is not healthy. This is not, like psychologically, do you want you record this, bro? I'm worried that the audio is gonna be staticky in here. So I, I don't know. I just wish you keep going. Yeah, just, there's no way to tell. But uh, you know, these last few weeks are very, very demanding. Um, especially if you're competing, you are obsessive. You do neglect things. You neglect people. You're in a bad mood. Um, you're very exhausted. You look at food and you're like, you have to count the macros and do all this and do all this and be very precise if you want to do well. And it's not healthy, it's not sustainable. The physique is not sustainable. That mentality of being so strict on yourself is not, is not maintainable. And that's not the example that I'm trying to set. That's not the example or the message that we are trying to portray. The message is setting a goal and doing what you need to get, it, to get done. Competing in itself is a difficult goal. That is a very, it, I like it because it's a, it's a you thing. It's all on you. You know, the, the counting, the what you put in your mouth, what you eat, uh, your training, that's an independent sport. It's on yourself. And you can, you know, you decide how much effort you're willing to put in, how accurate you're willing to be. But, you know, especially the last, I don't know, I just want to say that this the obsessive part of all this is like this week and last week and really leading up to the show. And fitness should be fun. You know, this should be fun. And it is fun, you know, in three and late next week we're gonna look back and be like damn man we did it we're freaking proud of ourselves you know but right now I know that these videos may come off very you know like die hard freaking right does that make sense am I making any sense yeah it's like psychologically this is what where, we, where we're at right now is not healthy but you we have to realize that some people don't realize it and they get caught in that state of mind yeah. right is that the best way to put it, it? hasn't always been like this yeah it starts off really good, but once you get down to like the last four to six weeks, that's when everything's especially two to three. Yeah, two four to, to six weeks. Yeah, twenty-one days, two weeks, and then it gets down to like 
17 days and you're like, oh crap, you have to really, really go low carb, you have to really watch what you eat, you really can't go over your limits, like, you have to watch your cardio, make sure you're getting your cardio in, and then the peak week, peak week, there's so everyone lean, thinks that, hard. Yeah, everyone thinks that peak week is good because you're getting high carbs and everything, but you're so ready for it to be over at that point, and you yeah. know the you know the end is so close that your mind is already at your mind is already on Saturday or Sunday, the cheat meal, the binging, yeah. and you're just like, dang, like you're just counting down the days until you can step on stage, do your best, and get it over. And I would say, being being as lean as we are right now, like our, it sucks, man. Like you feel like crap in general, just being this lean. Um, and People around you don't understand how you feel. Yeah. So when you retaliate and you're mean or you have like a short temper with them, they don't understand where you're coming from, but in your head you're just like, dang, I feel bad. And like you think about it later on that day, like damn, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have treated her like that or treated him like that or responded in that way. And like, I, I've tried my best to- I make, snapped you to Nate it, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you were snapping her, bro? bro. Yeah. <laughs> I've tried my best to apologize. <laughs> It's just, she uh, called me like seven times, and my, my, I, literally, guys, I kid you not, I kid you not. Within an hour and a half, I had about twenty six phone calls come into my phone, and like, my, I was just so frustrated, with my phone going off, man. And I was like, hey, if you call me one more fucking time, she goes, hey, chill. I'm like, all right, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, guys, that's the message, and we're about to do our best. We're gonna leave it all on the table, and. Man, it's it's hard for me to say that there are people out there trying harder than us right now. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, yeah. it's hard for me to see that. We're, in the gym I, we're gonna every do well. Single day. We're gonna do freaking well. We're doing well. cardio every single night. We're counting our macros, hitting them on point. I mean, at the end of the day, if, whatever the outcome is, whether whether we we finish top five or we don't, we don't finish top five. <laughs> I mean, I know I put my all into this prep. I've never prepped for this long. I've never prepped this hard before. Yeah. Um, we've looked, we're, we we look the best we've ever looked our entire life, and that's what's important. One more thing. Say you do a 20 week prep, right? What Shali and I kind of did this prep, this is a gas pedal. You know, this is, you know, your foot's all the way down on the gas, you're flooring it. If you start here, it's really important to be able to push, come back a little bit, push, come back a little bit, push, come back, back over the weeks and weeks. And, and the, you know, the last week, the last two weeks, floor it. But a lot of people that try, they don't release back. You know, this is refeed. This is going out with your friends. This is maybe having a casual, you know, night drinking out with your friends and going to a party or something. You can take these little steps back as long as you keep it controlled. And then you know when to step on. As opposed to going like this, you just burn out and burn out. You run out of gas. So uh, I think that we both took that approach. We both gave ourselves enough time to be able to let go a little bit here and there. Uh, and I don't mean let go, I mean, again, like I said, really, really slight letbacks, um, stress relief, things like that, that have helped us uh, stay mentally stable. And now we're ready to finish up. I really hope this clip's not messed up with the audio. If it is, we're just gonna put it in anyway. So I'm sorry if there's like static, guys. <laughs> but can we work out real quick? Might as well, screw it. Man, you know, we could, I feel like we can make so many mini videos out of like, these 30, 40 minute videos, if we were like hungry for money on YouTube and views and stuff like that, right? We could break these up into like five, seven minute videos, but we're just keeping it, let it roll. I'm doing a little bit less than half of the monster, so it's like literally that much. I'm gonna do the ghost. The fruit punch ghost is just so good with this that I haven't even tried the blue rass with it. It'd probably be good too. <laughs> do a full scoop. <laughs> I had a lot of caffeine today. I've had, should I say it? Screw it, bro. I've had, I've had <laughs> four white monsters today. Four. And I still feel like crap. It's because of the caffeine, Charlie. Yeah, probably is. But I've built such a high tolerance. Honestly, if I do win, or if I do play South 5, I'm going to like say a speech and dedicate it to caffeine and thank thank it for all it's done this entire prep. I wouldn't have made it throughout this whole prep without caffeine. Caffeine did everything. <laughs> no, what do you have to say, bro? But Javon's filming right now, by the way. Come you want to say about what? I don't know. Power to you guys. Would you, do, would you be able to do this? I think I could. I'm a pretty strong-willed person, though. So. You're so strong-willed, bro. Remember that one time? Not shit. No, go ahead. What I was going to say it on video. Oh, okay. You know what it is. I don't, but all right. All right, so going into the workout, comparing last year's prep to where you are now, how does it feel being three days out? Well, to be honest, man, um, I was actually looking at footage from last year. It ends up, 
the irony, but my show last year was on July 16th. My show this year is on July 16th. So I documented like the last 10 days. So I'm able to actually like literally look at the exact same day. Uh -huh. And uh, last year, I was lean as hell last year. I was very, very lean. But I feel like this year, this week specifically on peak week, uh -huh. I'm eating a lot more food than I was last year. And yeah. therefore, I feel like I'm looking a lot more full while being yeah. a little bit leaner. So this time last year, I was like 163, 164. Right now, I'm like 166, a little bit leaner and feeling more full, which is honestly like more than that's literally like the whole goal is putting on muscle getting yeah leaner, yeah that whole thing even if it's just like a, a pound or two even if it's like year. two three even if it's two pounds difference yeah if you're a little bit leaner and you look more full that means there may be three four pounds of muscle gain there and that's what's so do the numbers really matter though or is it just like it doesn't matter no the look and feel matter. i guess look oh. and feel this may sound weird but I, f I think i feel worse this year than i did last year um I'm not sure maybe you have a lot more going on a lot maybe. more going on yeah. you know um longer days and stuff more stress more work so it takes its toll you know yeah and i've been doing it longer it's been a longer prep uh yeah okay that makes so. more sense too so if you could have done anything different this prep like any one thing different what would that have been and to be honest i think that i handled this prep if i could do one thing different I would say that, as you guys know, I actually canceled my first show, I rescheduled my show. Mm -hmm. I was gonna be, eight, I was gonna do 18 week prep, yeah. and I changed to 16 weeks. I think if I would have started with 16 weeks and like set that number in my head, I would have. I don't know. I feel like the thought of doing two more weeks for like the last three weeks had been like really hard for me. It's been hard to wrap my head around like prepping that long. Mm -hmm. So I think that 16 weeks is like perfect for me to get in shape. And I think that next time around, I'm going to sign myself that exact amount of time. And mm -hmm. I think that way, like it's You're enough time to really focus in yeah. and not like, you know what I mean? If you, yeah. if you give yourself too much time, you start going backwards. Yeah, yeah. So you just start out with the right mentality, right mentality, right, right time frame. Um, so what last question what are some of your goals after completing this prep or after completing this competition and what are some of your goals here out so are you talking like physique wise or training wise okay. in general yeah. um physique wise i want to continue building my physique strength wise i'm really excited because i want to start programming i want to start working on my compound movements i want to work on my squat my bench and my deadlift and so i had an injury uh, lower back injury years and years ago a pinch nerves on my lower back had to go to therapy for a long time and after all that therapy I was doing deadlifts just warming up with 135 and I had another injury doing deadlifts and so I want to really take time and like start from ground zero with that um, maybe maybe compete in a powerlifting competition see how strong I can get and I would like to stay in a weight class where I can still look good I can still be lean uh, knock it up to like 195 200 pounds I want to stay a little bit leaner uh, while getting stronger overall and business wise there's so much stuff going on guys like so much is under our sleeve um, with the company with the gym with personal stuff personal investments that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys there's a lot of growth that's going on right now, and uh, it's all behind the scenes, like so much, man. Javon knows a lot of it. Mm -hmm. It's a lot, man, a lot. And uh, I just wanna continue sharing everything with you guys. And um, I think one of my goals after this series, I'm gonna take a little break, not like a long, yeah, I'm gonna take a break um, after, I've been uploading five videos a week and even seven videos a week this whole month. And I'm gonna take a, you know, a few weeks and I want to focus more on, you know, I don't want my, my channel, I don't want it to be the fitness channel specifically, like only fitness, you know, fitness is always going to be a part of my life and I want to share my life with you guys, therefore fitness will always be there, but I want to show you more of just like, my free, you know, just life, lifestyle, not so much just like this little niche, I don't want to just talk about creatine and talk about how much protein should you take and things like that and sure like I love that stuff. But there's so much more than that. There's so much more to the business. There's like friendships. I want to open that up to you guys and like just share growing up. You know, I started this channel. I was 19 years old, and there is so much I've learned as a person over the last four years. And there's so much I learn every day, every week. And all I hope with this channel is that you guys can take away like something, entertainment, knowledge, tips, anything. 
and uh, as long as I can give you guys like if I can make your day that much better and that's all I can do that's all I can ask so I want to keep doing that the best I can time so, for cardio time for cardio man I was just <laughs> getting comfortable in the AC got 45 minutes all right, well, let's turn that off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man, so tomorrow's going to be a busy day. We've got, God, it's already 11. We've got a meeting at 9 a.m. Let's get it done. Let's get it done, bro. Tomorrow's two days out. Woo! Nice. You know what I love this year? We yeah. have a show in Houston. Yeah. Remember how much of a pain yeah. in the ass it was? Drive. Yeah. Did you ever tell me a story about getting pulled over? Mm-mm. Funny story, guys. <laughs> Ooh, I guess we should tell them now since like the end of the video, probably not a lot of people are watching. Yeah. So I actually got the i8, like the day. The same day. So I got the i8 exactly like whatever it was tomorrow, Friday. On Friday of last year, I got the i8, uh -huh. which would be like. The 17th? The seven, uh, Or the, the 15th. 15th, my bad. The yeah. 15th, they call, hey, your i8's here. I wanted to go pick it up. Uh, it like I literally had just bought it that day. We got pulled over. It was myself, Javon, and Nikki. Mm -hmm. uh, Javon had all his camera equipment. We had you know like Nikki had her, her bag, and I had my bags and stuff. And I, I, it was like a fast acceleration around a car. Mm -hmm. And this cop, this was when all the El Chapo Guzman stuff was yeah, like yeah, yeah. really hot, right? Man, this cop pulled me over. He he was like calling. He thought I stole the car. I had like my red loafers on and like I was super tan. <laughs> I was like you know just like this guy and he was questioning Javon about the camera equipment and like is that yours where's your receipt for that when did you buy that what what is this what is this how much did that cost mm -hmm. like he was questioning Nikki and stuff I was literally on the side of the road he pulled me on the highway for like what 20 minutes yeah something like and that and he was like don't move sir don't stop moving did I tell you you can look at me oh it was I was getting mad man yeah, but it's even my last name is Guzman yeah he got mad whenever, because he came, he had you standing outside, and then he came to, like, the driver's door, and you know how, like, the doors on the IA go up? Yeah. So he's, like, started reaching in the car, and I was like, did you get permission from him to get in the car? Yeah. And, and he started yelling Yeah, Jamal wasn't like, really helping he... the case, man. <laughs> well, I mean, I didn't know yeah, what he was, and he was, I didn't know so... he was trying to plant did something he, he gave me a ticket, uh, huh? Yeah, he did give me he a ticket. for reckless uh, driving. Reckless driving, because I, I passed a car, uh, and, yeah, yeah, he gave me a ticket. That's a good story. Yeah, it was, it, was a good, it was a good story. I was almost, 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 I almost didn't make my show because I almost got taken to jail, man. And then, the man, remember the guys in the red truck? Oh, yeah. Okay, so we're, I'm pulled over, right? And he the cop finally lets me go, so we pull out. And then the subscribers are in a red truck. They're like, Christian Guzman! This cop, like, literally, he like as I'm driving off, they're like, Christian Guzman! The cop goes and pulls them over for, like, I don't know what he pulled them over for, for, like, not paying attention to the road. So messed up. <laughs> and then... And then when I went oh, to Cancun, so my family up. got to Cancun and at the airport I got held again because my last name is Guzman and El Chapo has like a son or relative named Christian Guzman. So they held me for like four hours, bro. Freaking. <laughs> Put him on. I wonder what happened to him. Let me go Google it. Yeah, go Google I haven't heard it. anything about Chapo Guzman. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Tomorrow's two days out. If you're still watching this video, 